What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to order mixed numbers, or mixed fractions, from least to greatest, okay? And these are actually easier than you probably think, because all we really have to compare are their whole numbers, okay? So, 3, 5, 3, and 1. Because you can kind of think of these like money, okay? So, this is like saying I have $3 plus some change, okay? This one is like saying I have $5 plus some change. Same thing with this one. This is like $3 plus some change. And this one is like $1 plus some change. Okay, so if you're trying to order these from least to greatest, which one would be the smallest one? Well, we can tell right off the bat it would be this one right here, right? Because this is just a dollar plus some change. Okay, so this would be our smallest one. So which one would be the biggest one? Well, it looks like it'd be this one right here, right? Five and two sevenths. Because again, this is like saying five dollars plus some change. So this one would be our biggest one. Now, with the two that we have left, we have three dollars plus some change and three dollars plus some change, okay? So we can't tell which one is bigger just by looking at their whole number right here, right? Because it's the same. So in this case, we have to compare their change, okay? We have to compare their fractions. So we have to compare two thirds and three-fifths. So let me write them down here. So we're going to compare two-thirds and three-fifths. Okay, so which one is bigger? Well, first of all, in order to compare these fractions, they have to have the same denominator. So here we have a three, here we have a five. They don't have the same denominator, so we need to change that, okay? So how can we change that? Well, an easy trick to do that is just Take this denominator and multiply it by that fraction over there. And then we'll do the same thing with this denominator and we'll multiply it by this fraction over here. Okay, so I'll take three and I'll multiply it by the top and the bottom. And then I'll take five and I'll multiply it on the top and the bottom. Now all we have to do is simplify this. Okay, so what's five times two? That's 10, okay? What's five times three? That's 15. Okay, now on this side, what's 3 times 3? 9. And then what's 5 times 3? 15. Okay, as you can see, they have the same denominator now, right? 15. So to compare these two, all we have to do is compare their numerators. So 10 and 9. So which one is bigger? Well, 10 over 15 is bigger than 9 over 15. But remember, 10 over 15 is actually 2 over 3 right? So we'll write it down here, 2 over 3. And then 9 over 15 is actually 3 over 5, right? 3 over 5. So we'll write that down here, okay? So that means 2 over 3 is bigger than 3 over 5. So going back to the top, both of these have the same whole number, but this change is bigger than this change. So 3 and 2 thirds is bigger than 3 and 3 fifths. Okay, so we'll say 3 and 2 thirds is the second biggest. And then 3 and 3 fifths is the third biggest. Okay, so again, if we wanted to order these from least to greatest, we said this one is the smallest one, right? 1 and 4 ninths. So that's our smallest one. Our second smallest one would be this one, right? 3 and 3 fifths. 3 and 3 fifths. Next, we would have this one, 3 and 2 thirds, 3 and 2 thirds. And then lastly, our biggest one was 5 and 2 sevenths, 5 and 2 sevenths. Okay, so here are your mixed fractions ordered from least to greatest. All right, guys, so I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check those out. And I'll see you there.